Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are testing and reviewing the Bratz X Revolution collab which is so exciting and yeah I'm going to be showing you this palette and talking you through all the different shades and also doing this little makeup look as well with it. So without further ado I hope you enjoy this video. If you do remember to give it a thumbs up and let's get straight in with it. So this is the actual outer packaging for the Bratz Makeup Revolution collab and it is on the back the girls with a passion for fashion which was the little tagline if you remember Bratz back in the day so let's get the palette out this is like a massive palette this is a really big palette so I would say for £20 value for money like looking at it definitely so it's got the four little characters on the front and then it's just got this embossed Bratz logo on the top and if we open it up, are we ready? Oh my goodness, can I just say, the mirror. First things first, we always talk about the mirror. That is one big mirror for sure. That's probably the biggest mirror I've ever seen in an eyeshadow palette, period. <laughs> and then these are all the shades. So you can see we've got a mix of matte, shimmer and foil as well. We have the three larger shades in the middle. Some of the shades have been embossed with the B for the Bratz logo, which you might be able to see there. And there's just a massive mix of shades in this one. I will say that if you're looking to get a Bratz eyeshadow palette, I would definitely probably recommend this one. Obviously I haven't tested it out yet, but if you're just going off purely shades, then they do the individual Bratz characters, which are on the front here, but they do them eyeshadow palettes and they're £15. They are kind of more tailored to certain colours. So for instance, Sasha, which is this one here, has got more like orange, warm toned inner palette. But obviously this one's a massive mix. And for the extra £5, you do get another eight shades, which I think is fantastic. Actually, another ten shades. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the palette. I am just going to pop some eyeshadow primer on. As usual, I'm just using my Urban Decay. So I think the first shade that I'm going to go in with is Jade, which is this one here. And I'm just going to pop this baby pink all over my lid and just use this as my base shade. It's a very soft pink, I don't know if you can see just now, but it seems like quite buildable, but it is very, very soft. Which is good for a base shade because you don't want to go in too heavy straight away. I am going to take the shade Passion, which is this one here. There is a slight shimmer to it, but I'm just going to pop this on the outer corner and blend that in. I'm just building on top of the original shade Jade. I, like, I don't want to block the camera, but this mirror is huge. <laughs> I do just want to quickly have a little look at some of these shades because they look absolutely stunning. So Funkalish. Let's have a look at Fashion. Sasha. And Tweevils. Is that how you say it? Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at those. This one, like, I feel like I keep getting drawn to, so I need to use it in this eyeshadow look for sure. But they are stunning. I need all of them. All of them. Oh, I haven't got a makeup wipe. Why do I always do this? Be right back. I just want to say these shades, honestly, are so stunning. Like, I don't know if the camera does it justice, but oh my goodness. So I think we're going to take Fungalish, which is this gorgeous orange. It's kind of like, it looks like a borderline orangey peachy kind of shade. And I'm just going to pop this on on the inner kind of part of my lid and just start to bring that out. To be fair, it looks more orange in the palette, but on my actual lid it looks more pink. I 
do we spot a cookie? In my last video that I made, I was editing it back and, sorry I'm just looking at cookie because he's probably going to get mischief, but all I could hear was cookie in the background purring, which is obviously amazing because he's so happy all the time. But yeah, I was like, I didn't realise how loud he actually was until I edited it back. Here he is. <laughs> I mean, what would be a video without Cookie? He's the only one that seems to really enjoy being on camera <laughs> because the other two just hide. Like when I video, they just, well, they don't hide. They just sleep on the bed. But this little one likes to be in on the action. Don't you, Cookie? I think I'm going to keep taking this shade out because it is such a gorgeous shade of pink. And then I'm going to take the shade Tweevils. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if it's not. Oh, uh oh. And I'm just going to pop this on with my finger, you know, because I feel like that's going to be maximum impact. And pop that on the outer part of my lid. I fully was prepared to do like a really nice orangey browny kind of autumnal shade and I've just gone completely the other way and heading for pink 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 <laughs> also I'm so excited because we are now in the beginning of September and we know what that means autumn I mean not yet <laughs> but it's a day closer to autumn autumn is this month now just a little bit towards the back end but yeah so excited I've already been doing a bit of Halloween shopping. Let me know if you guys have as well in the comments. But yeah, just so excited this year. I mean, actually, I say this, but I'm excited every year. And do you know what else is coming very soon? How about a lush Halloween haul? And how about a lush Christmas haul as well? I'm super excited to do one of those. So make sure you subscribe, just in case, for the day that that upload. Because you can guarantee as soon as the products are out in the shops, I've already got the date, I'll be there. <laughs> I've even got my autumn cup, are we ready? I mean, I can't promise that I won't buy any other autumn cups because it's me, but are we ready? This is this year's, so far. It's this Hello Pumpkin and it's actually really, like, it's a good size because I like a good size mug. This is from Next and this was £6. It's just adorable, it's got loads of little pumpkins on it. I feel like I need to put a bit more on this side because I feel like one side's gone really, really pigmented and one just hasn't as much. Then I'm going to take the shade Sasha, which is this orange shade just here. And I'm going to pop this on the centre of my lid. Or should I go in with the blue? Oh, the blue could work really well. Chloe. But if I do it, I've committed. Do I risk it? Yeah, let's do it. So I'm going to take the shade Chloe, which is this gorgeous, vibrant blue. Because, why not? I was going to do a nice orange in the middle, but that would be boring, right? Let's take Chloe and pop this on the centre of my lid. Very pigmented again. All these shades, honestly, have not disappointed. All the shades are so buildable, so even if you just want a little bit of shimmer. Next up, I'm going to take the shade Fashion, which is a gorgeous lilac. And this is going to be for in my inner corners. And then I'm going to take the shade My Girls and just pop this under my eyelid. Under my eyelid? Under my eye. <laughs> Same thing. Not quite. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go and pop some mascara on and I will be right back. I also need to put some highlighter on. Very important. <laughs> and I'll be right back. And I am back and this is the finished eyeshadow look. So I hope you like it. I've really enjoyed doing this, like using this palette because I did enjoy Bratz when I was younger. Um, I remember Chloe was my favourite. I feel like maybe that's where I got the name Chloe from because my little cat's called Chloe. 
but I've really enjoyed using this palette. I feel like the mirror, insane, not much I need to say on that front. Uh, I love the size of the palette. I feel like, again, massive variation in colours. I feel like a lot of eyeshadow palettes recently that I've been testing have got such a good variety of shades and it's good because it's great to have a palette, you know, like your everyday neutrals, but I think it's good to be quite versatile and be able to pick up a palette and be like, okay, I fancy doing a pink look today, I fancy doing a green look, a blue look, and this definitely gives you that. I mean, you can see from here. The shades are really blendable and also very pigmented as well. I love the shimmer shades. They are absolutely stunning. So yeah, I would really, really, really recommend this palette for sure. And I feel like there's so many more looks that I could have done with this. I feel like I need to do one of them videos, you know, when you do like 10 looks in one palette or something, because that would be the palette to use for sure. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please remember to subscribe down below and give it a thumbs up as well. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!